Hey guys, welcome to week 18 of our franchise series. And we're about to take on the Cleveland Browns. But we have so many backups in this game, guys. <sighs> smug response. We're going to give smug response because guess what? We have zero starters in this game. Well, as much as zero starters as I can. I actually ended up picking up a crap ton of players. I picked up uh, Raymond Johnson the third for this game. We actually picked up a player who's actually in real life. I think he retired this year, but you know what? It's John Ross. Yes, you know John Ross. The formal first round pick for the Cincinnati Bengals. I picked him up for this last game of the season. Listen, it's going to be a great game. I wanted just to see what he could do in this game. And who knows? Maybe he helps us win, right? Jake Brown is going to need all the weapons he can get. Now, normally I wouldn't pick up someone like John Ross here. But the th reason why I did it was because we have no Chuck Sizzle. Chuck Sizzle is out right now. He got hurt last game. So we're going to have to, you know, as much as humanly possible, hopefully get a nice little extra boost, okay? Listen, we don't have starters. We have Jake Browning in there, okay? And now we're doing... Now I'm going to get destroyed by him in, tra in process. Crap. Okay. Okay. Bro. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I'm just not good at, like, predicting where the player is going to run. Like, okay. He caught that anyway? <laughs> Bro, the man caught it anyway. Are you kidding me? Like, I get Tyler Boyd is that guy, okay? He's Himothy, but bro. Okay, I am not here. <laughs> the only way you can actually win this, and I've won this a lot in my previous videos, you have to literally just predict where the ball is going to go. And it's so difficult to do that. You got to predict, predict his route before he runs it, and it is so difficult. I mean like every single move so pretty much the whole idea is take a step back and kind of watch what he's doing but the problem is once he makes his cut you have to be on him like glue be or else you're gonna get destroyed because you're not gonna be able to catch up to him in any way possible the second he makes that cut is GG bro all right we might we might just take the out here boys I don't think I'm gonna be able to dot up on this one I don't think I'm going to be able to destroy on this one. This one's actually pretty dang tough, man. I was right there, bro. I was right there. Alright. I figured it would be something stupid like this. I figured it would be something stupid like a comeback. Like a zig route, man. I, I, th I thought that was going to be something special, bro. I thought that was going to be something crazy. Bro. I'm getting bodied right now, boys. Uh, you know what, bro? Let's just get right into the game, boys. Hang on. We, let's get right back into the game, okay? And before you say it, no, it wasn't because I was getting bodied there. It was because I just wanted to get into the game, okay? I was so excited to play our season finale in this game that that's why I did that. Not because I was getting bodied or destroyed, okay? Not happening at all, guys. It's Jake Browning season. I'm just ready for Jake Browning to go out there and show you why he's the best quarterback in the game. I, I think. I don't know. The, the Browns are 5-11, okay? <laughs> we might win today, in all honesty, <laughs> which is sad because we should get body today. Jake, Jake, Jake. <laughs> Bro, this is your first time ever starting in the NFL. This is crazy. First time ever saw in the NFL, bro. This is Jake Browning's first experience. It's gonna be exciting, bro. First play. Yeah, bro. We're throwing the ball. We we throwing that football. I don't care, Cleveland. We did would be disrespectful today. I don't care the fact that we have all of our backups in. Literally all of our backups in. Even our line, by the way. I don't even have my starting line out there, bro. I have freaking Jackson Carmen at left tackle. Although last year. He actually did pretty okay in the playoffs at left tackle. So I guess I can't talk that much crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> the 
It's Miles Garrett, guys. You remember Miles Garrett? Okay. Who is that right tag? I think that's Wiley. Yeah, that's Wiley, the guy we picked up in free agency. <laughs> Boys. It's going to be a long day for Jake Browning. It's all right, though. At the end of the, yeah, the, at the end of the day, I'm happy to rest our guys and not get anyone else hurt in this game. BJ Hill is starting, but that's like one of the few defensive players who is starting. I, as Logan Wilson is right on your screen. <laughs> okay, I don't have that much depth for certain positions, okay? But, listen. I don't know why our starting defensive line is starting. I, I'm just not going to question anymore, okay? We have a lot of players out. That's all we got to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, bro. We got a lot of players out. Because every time I say something like this, EA is just like, you know what? We're just going to put all of our starters in. And that's it. Like, we have Sidney Jones out there, bro. We know Sidney Jones has actually been, like, a productive member of this team this year. We have Poison Ivy out there. Yeah, baby. We got Poison Ivy out there. Should be exciting today for that reason. First actual true NFL game experience for Poison Ivy. I hope he gets an interception today, though. All right, I figured it out, guys. I forgot about my um, my sub linebacker and those sub positions. So now those guys are out of this game. So Trey Hendrickson had like one or two plays, okay? And, some, and Sam Hubbard. Miles Murphy got hurt. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Already. Where's R Raymond Johnson the third, though? Raymond Johnson the third is back in this game. Freaking take that, boys. All right, bro. Where's Nick Chubb? You guys don't have Nick Chubb anymore? What happened to Nick Chubb? Is he hurt? Okay, he should be okay. Yeah, Nick Chubb's out for one more week for them. He literally missed... He just missed the last game of the season. I wonder how long he's been out for. If they're 5-11, I would have to assume that he's been out for at least like four or five weeks. I mean, if they're 5-11, he's been out for a good amount of time. But first and go here, boys. Oh, no. Come on. Good time. All right, Miles Murphy's fine. Um, I'm just going to keep him out the rest of this game. There's no reason to put him in there and get him injured. So I'm just going to do a rotation with him not in there. And I'm just going to have more rotations with uh, Raymond Johnson III because there's really no point to put him in there right now. Especially if he's injured. I'm not going to do that for this game. So... We'll see. We'll see how the rest of this game goes. But even if we lose this game, I'm not too upset if we lose this game. We blocked the field goal, guys. We blocked the field goal. All right. Well, even with all of our backups in, we're still somehow, someway doing this to Cleveland, bro. We're blocking the Browns field goals. <laughs> Why couldn't we do that last week versus KC? Wait, they didn't kick a field goal. Never mind. That might be why. They didn't kick a field goal. Oh, that's it. That's Trenton Irwin, baby. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are we actually going to do this to the Browns? Bro, ain't no way. Like, listen. I get Listen, you saw their injury report, okay? We're not going to sit here and act like, you know, this is a 100% healthy Brown team. It's not. This is a very injured and injury writ in brown squad who is right now trying to fight for anything and i just i that was so i don't know what i was thinking there that was so stupid of me i threw that stupid pass because i was talking and not thinking <sighs> dang it bro that was so stupid of me but anyway this is not a 100 healthy brown squad it, it, it's very injury driven brown squad but that's okay that's okay bro think of it the same way for us you know like, this is not our starters. These are backups because we won the conference. <laughs> and we're literally the best team in football. And that's actually not even an understatement. We are the best team in football. Because even though, technically speaking, you can make the argument, well, like, in the AFC you won. We're the best We're the better team in the NFC, too. Cowboys are below us. So we're technically the best team in football. Dude. <laughs> we're playing tough. They punt dotted us. <laughs> that hurts me. Hurts me the fact they actually were able to punt dot us. Ah, Jake Browning. All right, Jake. Might be the reason why you're not the starting quarterback. Or the fact that Joe Burrow is actually that good. 
and luckily we don't need to be a starting quarterback. That was an interesting pass. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you, that was an interesting pass. Like, should I have thrown that? Mm, maybe. I mean, he was open, but it was like, so, it, it, it went so far to the right hand side, I don't even know what to think about it. Oh, Tanner Hudson. Tanner freaking Hudson, baby. Uh, nice to see him back. Actually, wait, no, he's been on this roster this whole entire year. I don't know what I'm talking about. Tanner Hudson has been on this roster the whole year. I guess it's nice seeing him make plays again. That's what I'm trying to say. Because, yeah, he's been on this roster this whole entire year. He's never technically left. And, ooh, -hoo, we got Tyler Boyd. Gonna suck that this is probably his last regular season game with us. Because after this game, you know, we have the playoffs. And then he'll probably go find a new team. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna, you know, get too upset about this. <laughs> Bro, we taking some shots, okay? <laughs> we taking some shots today, boys. We ain't playing Winnie Hunt Jr. football with our backups. I'm sorry. This ain't happening today, folks. Because if a backup gets hurt, it sucks. But that's that's football, man. As long as our starters ain't really out there today, and they're really not. Some of them are. Logan Wilson is. But, it, again, like I said, it's rotational snaps, and they're not going full on defense. On offense, we have all of our backups in it completely. Like, even the line is backups. So, I'm good there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At what point does the Browns bring in their backups? <laughs> okay, let me not talk so much crap. What are you up 7 nothing in this game so far? And they just... Dude, they're... This team's out of shape. This team doesn't know what they're doing. I keep saying that, and it, yet they keep punt dotting us. Bro, their punter is like a freaking absolute animal. Like, this man just punt dots me... To the next oblivion. All right, let's see what I like here. Let's see what I like here. Oh no 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 no! Why did I throw that away? Don't give him safety, please. It's a safety. The reason why it happened was because B was supposed to run a slant route, but for some reason in Madden, when you put a guy on a slant route, he doesn't actually run his slant route. He runs a slant and then he stops in the middle. And I was waiting to throw the ball on the slant route to the left-hand side, and because of that, the pressure came in, and I tried throwing it away because of that. And I forgot I'm in the end zone, and if you're in the end zone and you get intentional grounding, it's automatically a penalty. It's a safety, I mean. So I'm accurate safety if you get tackled in the end zone. I'm sorry, if you get um, intentional grounding. Because pretty much the idea is you would have been sacked, right? Because you threw the ball away because you were about to be sacked. It sucks. Okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to home in too much on it. But gave them a free three and potentially now even more before halftime. Which, dang, bro. I'm telling you right now, though, these freaking, that punter, their punter is good. Like, their punter can win games just on the fact that he can punt dot people, bro. Their punter can punt dot everybody. All right, second and seven here. Come on. Oh, screen pass. I'm all over that, baby. I am all over that. Good. This, let's not give him any more points before halftime here. Let's go into halftime seven to two. Come on to half and play smart football. I don't want to give up anything stupid here, boys. Nothing stupid. Nothing reckless. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it, baby. Okay. I'm calling a timeout, though. <laughs> oh, man. All right, who's back there? We got Travion. Okay. That's because Chuck Sizzle's hurt. Chuck Sizzle is our punt returner. Which, again, for the playoffs, it's going to suck to have him out. But it is what it is. Ooh, okay. We could run this to go to halftime. But you know what? We have backups in there for a reason. Bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. That was John Ross. 
Yeah, it's John Moss. We just dot him up for that big play with John Moss. The old Cincinnati Bengals receiver. That is insane. Okay, well, we're going to take our money Mac field goal because we're playing this smart. Again, like I said, we would love to... We still want to win this game, man. Even though we have backups in. This isn't for just play backups and that's it. We want to win this game. We're still very competitive in this game, boys. All right, come on. We're going to pressure him in the second half. We're getting after him. We're getting after him in the second half here, bro. This ain't, this ain't going to be uh, pity football here, man. Keep in mind, though, we had a number one offense, a number one defense this year. Our defense is so good, even with most of our backups in, we still allowed only two points in the first half. And the only reason that happened was because of a stupid punt dot. Like, bro, I'm just saying, bro, our defense is pretty dang well. Again, we still have some starters in, but, like, Cheeto's not in, I don't think, at all. Yeah, I don't think Cheeto has played one snap today. So... Interesting. Bro, that was such a huge tackle. Joseph Asad. They faked the punt against us. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But it is very disappointing. Because I thought we were going into half. I thought we were getting the ball back. And they faked the punt against me. And throws a freaking 30-yard pass. <sighs> Bro. We blocked a field goal in this game. They faked a punt in this game. That's how you know this is week 18 football. That's how you know this is week 18 football. Sean Watson, man. He's missed a lot of throws in this game. We also do have full momentum, though. Which helps out immensely. So, like, right now, I'm not sure what the exact momentum factor is. But it's really good momentum. And we have home field advantage already. So, like, we have so many things piled up on each other right here that's helping us out in this game. So, we have zoned in, as you just saw, and I did not read the rest of them. But we have a lot of good things going our way. So, Deshaun is not also, you know, getting a fair shake because he has to get all those momentum factors thrown at him. But, yeah, it, it's, it's a mixer of everything. So, it's a home team involved in a touchdown takeaway ends of the zone. Uh, players run slightly faster than normal. So our players are slightly faster than they should be. That's why we're getting so many deep passes here, guys. That's why we're getting so many, like, you know, deep bombs. And especially, again, we already have John Walls, who's a freaking blazing speed player. But, so that helps out a lot, too. <sighs> Come on, guys. I don't want to allow any scores here, bro. We, we stopped them, and then they fake a punt, and now they're about to score. Incomplete. Let's go. Let's go. You know how many times, though, this year we've gotten turnovers in the red zone? Like, I'm at a point now where I'm never convinced the team's going to score on us in the red zone. Only the Chiefs. The Chiefs kind of did. Ain't going to lie to you. Chiefs kind of did. And they just scored on us. Okay, they're going for two. Obvious reasons, because they got that safety. All right, come on, guys. No two-point conversion here. Wow, why do you get dotted up like that? That was a really good drive by them. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty dang good drive. Like, for halftime adjustments, that was actually pretty okay. <laughs> Jake Browning, man, please. Bro, nah, uh, we, we can't have that today, bro. We can't have this today. Alright, we're gonna need you to be great today, bro. Like, we don't got no Joe Shiesty in this. Oh, okay, that's easy. No, you really gonna overthrow a touchdown to Yoshi. Bro, I'm sick. He actually just overthrew a wide open touchdown to Yoshi. <sighs> Come on, Jake. All right, Jake. Second chances, baby. Not everyone gets a second chance in life. Oh, you oh you still overthrew it. You still overthrew the ball. Okay? You still overthrew the ball to Yoshi. Jake. Oh, I, I tried so hard there, boys. I tried so hard there to get the ball to Tyler Boyd. I just had to wait till we got open, and it, it took too long for him to get open. Uh, that's okay. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right, let's play defense. Again, guys, we are trying to win this game. We're going to play a little bit more aggressive because, again, this game at the end of the day does not matter toward us. 
we do want to win no matter what. You know, we did talk crap with them about them going into this game. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to play. We're going to play a little bit more aggressive. So, uh, yeah. we're not always going to go for on fourth down on our own area. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, we'll play aggressive today, guys. It's, it, we got to have fun the last game of the season. Okay, if we have backups in, we got to make this game fun. Bro, y'all need to tackle this, man. All right, come on, boys. Nothing stupid here. Nothing stupid here. Ooh, false start. Let's go. False start, baby. Moving back five yards. I don't know why I really actually like that. I'll be honest with you. I kind of don't like the fact they got a false start because now they have more options to go to. Like, now they actually have more areas they could go with a false start. See? That's what I'm saying. Like, before, it was like they just couldn't run the ball up the middle and we're going to just, you know, go right up the gap and try to stop them. Now they have options. I don't like when they have options. Gonna hike the ball? Nah, let's go. All right. Right up the middle. My guess is going to be a run play right up the middle. It is, and we shut it down. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. We weren't able to block the field goal this time, guys. We weren't able to. It is what it is, man. I wish we were able to. That would make the game so much more fun. <laughs> if we just kept blocking the field goals with our backups. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a run play here. Get Chris Evans a little bit involved. Again. I, I, I said a little bit, Chris. Okay. You don't got to go one a touchdown out here, Chris. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm okay if he gets some yardage. At the end of the day, you know, I want everyone to eat today. Everyone to eat. No, no it's not going to happen. I was, I was thinking about the Yoshi deep pass. But I was like, nah, it's not going to happen because he's not going to... He wasn't going to beat this guy there. Normally, he does. He wasn't going to beat this guy right there. All right, come on. Oh, yes. Wide open. Good play. Good play. Got to have an interesting concept here. I want to see if this guy... I want to see if Yoshi gets open. Oh, Yoshi is... Bro, that's the third touchdown overthrown, J Jake. That's the third touchdown of Yoshi overthrown. Bro, Yoshi could buy real estate with how many yardage is he gets overthrown in this game so far oh my god jake <laughs> jake you cannot do that to yoshi man trey hill got hurt okay that means yeah i was gonna say teddy k is gonna be in the game then bro you cannot do that to yoshi jake that's wrong yo jake browning with the wheels Ain't no way Jake Browning just outran his whole Brown starting defense. <laughs> Let's go, baby. So, I will say, if Joe played this game, Yoshi might have like 17 touchdowns. Because Yoshi has been destroying this Browns defense all day long, bro. Like, he already has really great stats. I think he has over 100 yards today. But he'd have like 700 if it wasn't for the fact Jake Browning would not just... Would not, uh overthrow him every single 10 seconds he overthrows every single pass so it's like it does not work all right defense i don't care that this is like a lot of backups there is some starters out there but i don't care if this is all like a mostly backups i expect a stop here defense bro bro their guy got hurt right before the two minute warning that's so fishy bro that is so fishy. How are you going to get hurt right before the two-minute warning? Like, one second before, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm down. And then he's back in the next play later. Come on now. I'm smelling some fishiness going on. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That was way too much of a run. All right. Up the middle. Come on, boys. Got to get a stop here. I mean, if we need a Jake Brown in game-winning drive, he did it versus the Falcons. It wasn't game-winning. It was just ended up being a tie. But still, 
he did it, so he's going to have to do it again. Jake Browning, his first NFL game-winning drive. No, not going to play that stupid. Come on. Come on, bro. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out in a correct play for him. This way, he shouldn't overthrow anybody. Ooh, Yoshi's in the slot. Okay, line, 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 okay? I'm gonna need you to, like, block for, like, 20 seconds more, okay? Like, I'm trying to get these guys open here, boys. <laughs> there we go. Good job, Tyler Boyd. Gonna miss you, bro. I'll say that a million times. I am gonna miss him. Tanner Hudson, I'm not going to miss you because you're probably going to be back on the roster next year. <laughs> you're probably going to be coming back anyway, so it doesn't really matter there, buddy. Oh my gosh, okay. That was uh, not what I expected there. Okay, it's all good. It's all good, boys. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to get out of that same play, though. Got to change it up a tad bit, you know. John Moss across the middle here, baby. There was so much congestion going on in the middle there. Like, John Ross probably could have beat it and caught the ball. But there was so much congestion going on in that middle. I was like, bro, where do I throw this football? Alright, come on. Well, that's it. Get the block. Oh, that was an amazing block right there. He didn't get out of bounds, though. He did not get out of bounds. Okay. That was almost bad because he didn't get out of bounds. Come on. Oh, Sample got bumped on the play. Sample got absolutely bumped on the play. Wait, Tanner, can you go straight? I threw that way too late. I threw that way too late. I am pissed at myself right now. I should have threw that ball right there. I threw it way too late. And I tried to come back with the with Drew Sample here to try to go for the catch. And I end up, yeah. <sighs> Wait, Boothville. What? Why you get my hopes up like that? Why would you get my hope hopes up like that, bro? Why even get my hopes up like that? Wh why? You gave me a booth review for what? Just to break my heart? <laughs> That's even worse. I hate the fact they gave a booth review. Cause I was like, wait, was he out of bounds? Did he not catch the ball? Like, do I fourth down? Like, bro. <sighs> yeah. That's on me. That's 100% on me. 347 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Overall, pretty dang good day. We lost in the end, but again, that was on me. I, I should have played better yeah, that last drive. In the last play, I should have played better. Should have threw the ball way earlier. Tried to make it up in the end and didn't work out. All right, boys. Next video, we're going to be in the playoffs, okay? We're going to be in the playoffs versus, let's see next week wild card we are down we we won the wild card divisional round next video is be against the jacksonville jaguars okay hang on let me go back here let me see this real fast let me go to standings no no i don't want standings i want um schedule 
I want to say who, I want to see who lost in the playoffs. The Chiefs are still in it, okay. Not not team schedule, playoff schedule. All right, let me see something about pass goes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, wild card. KC beat Pittsburgh. Barely beat Pittsburgh. The Falcon beat. Uh, Rams beat the Falcon. Jacksonville beat Houston. Philly demolished Green Bay. Buffalo beat the Chargers, and 49ers beat the Carolina Panthers. Okay, interesting. Not horrendously bad. I also want to take a look at the final stats of the year. So Joe Burrow finished with 4,200 yards, 61, uh, 4,261, 38 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Okay, Joe Mixon, yeah, a little bit under 1,000 yards rushing. Okay. Chase Brown only 134 yards on the season. Obviously, T was hurt for a lot of the season, so that's why that happened. Um, I mean, Yoshi still had our second best, which is crazy. Which is absolutely crazy. John Ross even was in there, too. <laughs> Defensively, we had seven sacks, okay? Four interceptions. And we had, like, two touchdowns. Three touch, No, two touchdowns. Yeah, two touchdowns. Fourth overall offense. What was our defense? Number one? Number one. We played pretty good. And Joe came in as number four MVP. Zach Taylor, coach of the year. Guys, I'll see you guys next one. Be tackle.